we're asked to simplify 12 plus, and then parentheses, 5 minus 1 times 3 to the second power, or 3 squared, minus 8 divided by the square root, or really the principal root, of 4. Now whenever you see something like this, you really just want to put your brain into order of operations mode. And just to remind ourselves, the top priority goes to parentheses. So I'll just draw some parentheses there. Then after that, we do exponents. And in exponents, we also consider square roots to be an exponent. So after parentheses, we then worry about things that look like you know, a to the b power, or things that look like that have a radical on them. You'll learn in the future that the square root is really raising something to the 1 half power. That's why it's the same thing as an exponent. And then we do multiplication and division. Multiplication and division. And then finally, you do addition and subtraction. You finally do addition and subtraction. So let's apply that to this over here. So we have one set of parentheses right there. You have that parentheses, and inside you have 5 minus 1. So we want to evaluate that first of all. So 5 minus 1 is 4. So our problem becomes 12, 12 plus the 5 minus 1 is 4 times 3 squared minus 8 divided by the positive square root of 4, the principal root of 4. Now, we got all our parentheses out of the way. Do we see any exponents here? Do we see any exponents? We're at this stage now. Well, I have this 3 to the second power, 3 squared, and I also have the square root of 4. So let's evaluate those next. 3 to the second power is 9. Three to, that's the same thing as 3 times 3. So let me write that down, just as a review. 3 to the second power is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. It is not equal to 3 times 2. It's 3 times 3. So 3 squared is 9. So we'll put that 9 there. And the square root of 4. So the square root of 4, I'll do it down here. The square root of 4, what times itself, or what positive number times, or non-negative number, I should say, times itself is equal to 4? Well, it's 2. right? This is the same thing as the square root of 2 times 2, which is equal to 2. So this, the principal root of 4 is 2. And then we have everything else there. We have the 12 plus this 4 plus 4 times this 9 minus 8 divided by that 2 right there. Now, what's next? Well, we are, we, we're done with the ex parentheses and exponents. Now we go to the multiplication and division. And is that going on anywhere? Well, sure, we have this multiplication right over there. And then we have this division right over there. So let's evaluate those next. So 4 times 9 is 36. 36. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we are left with 12, 12 plus 36 minus 8 divided by 2, which is 4. And now we're finally at this stage of our order of operations, so we can just evaluate. What left to right? What is 12 plus 36? 12 plus 36, I'll do this right here. 12 plus 36 is 48. So we have 48 minus 4. And when you evaluate that, 48 minus 4 is just 44. And we're all done.